page 16 of the punch is where we are right now Knox as Buhari's daughter-in-law graduates from UK varsity uh, some civil society groups have described as insensitive a post that was made by the first lady the wife of the president on her Facebook page celebrating her daughter-in-law's graduation from a UK university they also urged Mrs. Buhari to apologize to millions of Nigerian students stuck at home as the seven uh, month strike by ASU persists. Now, if it is true, because I haven't seen the post and I, I don't think I want to, but I don't want anything to, to upset me. If it is true, then it is quite unfortunate because the wife of the president cannot say she doesn't know what Nigerian students are going through. And there is no statutory requirement that requires that you post the graduation of your daughter-in-law or mm -hmm. your sons or whatever, mm -hmm. that you put it on Facebook. There's no legal requirement for it. So what? So when you post these things for publicity, you post it for people to see what is the message that you are sending across. What is the message that you are sending across? Are, are you trying to? Are you trying to do? Um, how do you translate Obi from from Yoruba to English? Obi. Obi is Obi. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I, are you... I, I, yes. Are, are you trying to taunt yes. uh, other Nigerians to show that, oh, we are above all these things? Well, what is... So what is in the message? Mm -hmm. The question I would have loved to ask the first lady if she was with me is, ma'am, when you were posting this, you were posting it for people to see. What did you want them to see? Oh, okay, that the girl has been successful... If, if that is what it is, she's not the first that's going to be a graduate, and she probably won't be the last. From the days of my father's, people have been graduating in the United Kingdom. Is she the first from her village? That would have made more sense if the Emma or whatever mm -hmm. of her village had posted it. Oh, okay, so you want to show that there is success in your family, but ma'am, your husband has, is directly responsible for all the youths in this country, and a sizable number of them are not in school mm -hmm. due to the fact that these negotiations haven't gone through. For even those who are in school, you will ask yourself, what kind of schools are they in? I, 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 so I, I think it's, it's quite insensitive. I, I, I think she should apologize. She's not compelled to. Um, and, you know, she's not compelled to. But I think that a lot of care needs... You remember the other time it was my cousin who said that he was in Harvard and this and that and that and this. These things complicate the issue on ground. Mm -hmm. It's going to strengthen the resolve of the, of the lecturers, of the students, uh, to say that, look, one thing that you need to be aware of is that mm -hmm. the demands of ASU mm -hmm. might be heightened any time from now because other groups might join them. And they might be asking for more than what is even on the table. It is things like this that incense people. You know, when you think of what, for example, when you think about how the politicians take care of themselves, the National Assembly, no problem. They get their car loans as and when due. They get all these humongous amounts and housing and this and that. And this doesn't happen on the other side. These little, little things could all add up to make the demands of ASU more than what we have on the table. Hmm. My suspicion is, if care is not taken, any time from now, other people, there might be other people, other sectors that might want to join ASU, then it won't be the issue of the universities alone. Mm -hmm. Thank God that the elections are coming up in 2023. It's left to you again, that opportunity that you have in February, mm -hmm. which is just right around the corner, to put an end to this or to live with it.